Hi folks, Kate here again. Welcome to the eighth video in our new user training series. Today we're going to be talking about maintenance, troubleshooting, and how to get more help from Fusion 3. Let's talk about maintenance first. Regular maintenance is a key component of good print quality and longevity of your printer. Maintenance breaks down into two types. There are periodic uh, maintenance items and then there are as-needed maintenance items. So for periodic maintenance items, you're going to have timers on your maintenance screen. That's what's shown on the right here. These timers count down, as I covered in the uh, user interface uh, video, and they'll alert you when uh, the timer reaches zero. So for example, in that picture, you see the Bowden tube timer has expired, and so it's highlighted in orange, and then you've got a maintenance notification in the top of the screen. Your as-needed maintenance items are going to be things you do as-needed, so that would be like an uh, anvil printhead replacement. There's no timer on that, you just do it when it's needed. Documentation for all our maintenance items is on our website. And troubleshooting. 3D printing is a complex activity with complex failure modes. Uh, there's lots of ways things can fail, and in a lot of cases, the failure modes manifest very similarly. So to someone who's new to the technology and new to our products, it can be difficult to understand what's going on. Troubleshooting guides for common issues are on the website, but if you're not clear or you're unsure or you're confused, contact us. You do not need to try to fix issues on your own. That's why our support team is there to help you do this. So these troubleshooting guides are going to help you uh, get started. They may resolve your issue in some cases, but they're not intended to be completely comprehensive. Fusion 3 products come with a two-year limited warranty. This starts from the date of shipment, so the date it leaves our dock is the date the warranty starts. This warranty covers parts under normal use, so we have some exclusions for unattended operation, uh, using non-approved materials, if you do unauthorized modifications, and general abuse mistreatment. Uh, in those cases, we may elect not to provide parts for free. Now, we do want to be clear that we we try to be very reasonable about this. So let's say you modify your print head. That just means we're not going to be able to help you with replacement parts for that print head. The rest of the machine is still under warranty. To activate your warranty, please email warranty-activation at fusion3design.com. Again, that's warranty-activation at fusion3design.com. The subject line should be warranty activation. Please include your printer serial number, and the names and emails for all the users in your organization. We need your serial number to map the activation onto your order, and we just like to have the names and emails for those users so we can set you up in our customer support system. We offer free lifetime support with our products. What that means is we'll help you even if your warranty is expired. Our support system is remote, meaning we provide support via email and video calls. We don't offer on-site service as part of our normal support package. This approach requires your help and participation. Uh, we need you to be our eyes, ears, and hands on-site because we are not there to see the printer in person. So we're going to be relying on you to perform tests, to inspect certain things, to send us pictures, and to try things. Uh, so this is an active participation thing. Um, the most difficult issues uh, we have to fix and support are when we can't get enough information out of the customer because we just don't have the information to help. Our ticketing system runs on a first-in, first-out basis. So we answer tickets in the order we receive them, we try not to play favorites, and so what that may mean is at times if we're really busy there may be a longer delay than normal before we can get back to you. The other thing that can delay this is if we have to um, step back and think about your issue and determine the next steps. Sometimes that takes us a, a few hours or a day or so to figure out what we want to do next. One way we can speed this process along is if you send as much information as possible at the beginning when you first contact us. This limits the amount we, of time we need to go back and forth to you for more information. So things we like to get are pictures, G-code files, workspace files, and the console log. Those are usually the, the big four we ask for right out of the gate. Let's talk about consumables. So there are certain items on your printer that are not covered under your warranty because these items are designed to be wear items. They're designed to wear out. So some examples are the Bowden tubes, the anvil print head tubes, the heaters and the sensors, the print surfaces, filter elements, obviously, and the print head scrub pads. For a complete list and more information about each of these, please see our consumable items help document on the website. 
how to get help. Fusion 3 is here to help you. Part of what you're paying for when you buy one of our printers is our expertise to help you with your issues. You don't have to do all this alone. Uh, we actually prefer to help more than less because that Im improves our customer satisfaction and some, in some cases uh, prevents uh, damage to the equipment or just issues that we have to fix later. So if you're not sure, please reach out. We're always happy to answer questions. Our documentation for EDGE is on that web page there. To get to that web page, from the home page of our website, go to Support, Manuals and Downloads, and then click on the EDGE 3D printer. So this web page has every support document we've written for EDGE. Now, if you're coming from previous Fusion 3 products, you're used to a monolithic or a single user manual. That's not the approach we're using with EDGE. Uh, what we've discovered is that monolithic manual, uh, there's a few issues. One is it's very hard to update because every time you need to make a small change, you have to republish the entire document. Two is it gets very long. Uh, I believe our user manual for the 410 was over 100 pages. And that can be overwhelming for people, so they don't read it. And also, it's hard to find the information they need. So with EDGE, we've taken the approach where each topic has its own help document and each of them can be updated and maintained independently. So this web page is continuously updated. We're always adding new documents and you can see the different categories. We have operation, software, networking, uh, the Anvil printhead, maintenance, troubleshooting, uh, some advanced topics, repairs, accessories, and then some downloads as well. So this is where you need to come if you're looking for documentation, start here. Um, if you are unsure or if you can't find the right document, again, just please reach out to us and we'll help you find it. Contacting support. Uh, we have a web page on the website I'll show you in a minute. You can also email us directly at support at fusion3design.com. We really prefer email or video chats over phones. What we discovered is the phone is not a good troubleshooting tool. And as we've come out of COVID, everyone is much more comf comfortable with video conferencing. Everybody's got the infrastructure. So we really prefer, if your instinct is to call us, please set up a video call instead because the ability for us to see in real time what you're seeing is just invaluable in troubleshooting. So again, from our homepage, you're going to go to support, contact support down here. That will take you to this web page here. We have two forms on this on this page. On the left, you can uh, fill this out and it will send us an email and that will go into our ticketing system. Or on the right, you can schedule a video call. This app will automatically show you the time slots we have available to schedule that video call. Finally, if you have questions about the training contact, please contact us. Uh, this is relatively new. So there's a chance we've missed something or something isn't clear, so we're always happy to get feedback on that. Finally, thank you. This is the end of our new user training series. Uh, thank you for sticking with us. I know this is a lot of content to absorb. Uh, I hope it was useful and happy printing.